Hello and welcome back to or welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be resuming the three pack legacy challenge. This is going to be the first kind of let's play video. The video pre prior to this was a prequel backstory kind of video as I'd initially started playing with The Sim. So if you haven't seen that I'll leave a link in the description box below or you can press above now. And yeah that kind of runs through the backstory of what we've done so far. As a really brief introduction, so we met Maeve Bright who is our sim here. She moved into an apartment in San Machino and she really was like, she was really unsure about her life, like who am I, kind of deep thinking. Um, and then she decided she wanted to learn more about vampires which had always been a passion of hers. So. We'd kind of started researching about vampires, we'd found an encyclopedia, we went to a bar where we thought vampires might hang out, um, where she actually met, I think, Tomax or Tomax, let me know in the comments below if I've been saying his name wrong, I've been calling him Tomax. Um, there was a creepy man called Vlad kind of stalking her in the bar, and then our relationship developed with Tomax, so we're now his best friend and his girlfriend. And then I set some challenges for the um, for the generation as well. And they'll also be included in the description below. So yeah, let's get stuck in. So one of the goals was to live in all the districts and we've actually started off in the fashion district. So um, we live in this apartment here. I think we'll maybe move around like to this one next and try and work our way up. I probably should have started in, I think these ones are a little bit cheaper, I probably should have started there, but hey ho, we've started in the fashion district um, and we live in this apartment here. So yeah, let's get stuck in. And here it is Maeve, <laughs> she's looking really happy actually. Um, yeah, I think Tomax just left, that's where we'd kind of ended it. So if you haven't seen the prequel, um, she went to a bar and she met Tomax Colette um, she knows he loves the outdoors and he's self assured and yeah I think um, they're lovebirds social bunny friends um, he is her boyfriend and her best friend she thinks he's attractive and he was the first sim she ever kissed their sentiments so Maeve's sentiments about Tomax growing closer from quality time so they've appreciate Maeve appreciates that Tomax made his time for her. Time spent together seems to bring them closer together and deeply connected. Maeve has a powerful bond with Tomax that is a source of strength and comfort. And yeah, and Tomax has the same deeply connected sentiment about Maeve. So yeah, that's kind of um that's where we're at the minute. So she met him, she's he's become her boyfriend and we started off with the master vampire aspiration. So she's read the encyclopedia and she's used a computer to search for information on vampires. The next step is to become a vampire. Um, and the other, the next level, she needs to reach vampire law level four, participate in vampire training and become a minor vampire. So I think if you watch the prequel, you can see Vlad was actually in the bar kind of stalking her so I don't know if we're going to get a visit from him um but yes yeah, so I thought we'll maybe do some more vampire research and kind of just see what happens okay so she is currently researching the vampires although it kind of looks like she's browsing I don't know shops <laughs> um oh so just lost her but yeah so she's doing that she is let's see she's currently level three of the vampire law um, it says she's exhausted all information on vampires that she can find online. If she wants to learn more, she should she should order some vampire books on the computer. And I'm pretty sure we can't actually... Um, yeah, we're going to have to just read... Oh, she must have put it in her... She's put it in the bookshelf, I think. Okay, so we'll go and research that. I wanted to talk to Korea, so yeah, I think I mentioned in the previous video, so she's joined the politician Korea. She hasn't actually had a um, a day at work yet. She just got, chose a cause to support, so she starts work in two days. 
Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll get on to that. And then let's see. Um, today we've got nothing going on. Geek Con tomorrow. Uh, the lottery. And then Harvest Fest. So we'll probably do some of with Tomax then. Um, oh, Tomax. Have you been learning anything new lately? Actually, yes we have. We've been learning lots about vampires. <laughs> so yeah, she's family oriented, genius, outgoing, and she got the quick learner trait from her master vampire aspiration. And then she's also got the traits um, sage. Let me just pause because I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> sage, sims, seek wisdom and focus on finding the truth in every situation. However, their knowledge seeking nature might cause them to think too much and not act enough. And the jester. Jester sims live for the moments of joy, humour and silliness, often though they are irresponsible, wasting time by playing around instead of focusing on their goals. So they kind of don't really go together like that's focusing and that's not. Um, but yeah, these are from mods. I'm going to do a mod video at some point in the future. Um, she would be happy to have a child right now. And she got the provider ESFJ extraordinarily caring social and popular people always eager to help popular leisure activities for esfjs include volunteering in the community charity or religious organizations celebrating holidays family traditions cooking entertaining social sports so that goes quite well with um with the politician career i want her to go down the charity line okay so i, I think she's gone to, oh she's gone to go look at the snow <laughs> But she's just reached level four of vampire lore, so she just learned the secrets of converting fish and frogs into tasty plasma packs. Uh, and this passage says that enough garlic spread around the house can prevent a vampire from biting Sims. I'm um, just getting her to make a portion of mac and cheese just before she gets hungry, so then we can keep it in the fridge. Oh, a lot of social bunny worthy things happened to move today. We can open it to post about them. And we just acquired the cooking skill. <laughs> oh look, we can post about the pillow fight. Um, we'll say that was happy. Um, ha a book review, because she read the, the vampire tome. And then a new best friend. And put another friendly message. Um, oh my god, Vlad has messaged her. Your follower account and you are the same. A big zero. <laughs> I can't believe he's done that. So I don't think Vlad really likes her. It's, can he reply? I've never done this before. I'm going to send him a angry reaction back. <laughs> oh, and... Oh, I'll go back. That was level six of the vampire lore, which is fab. She is smashing her way through that. So she's exhausted um, everything. That can be learned from this book if she wishes to continue her research she should order encyclopedia from perica volume 2 on a computer under vampire secrets so i'm going to go ahead and order that um and then we're going to head to i mean she's not really that tired but um so maybe we'll read we'll read the volume 2 for a little bit and then go to sleep Okay, so it is the next day and Maeve is just getting ready um, and we need to become a vampire really. So now she's vampire law um, level 7, I feel like she would kind of knows the, um, the general area of where she needs to go. So before she kind of just heard rumours about the bar in Glimmerbrook, whereas now I think she kind of knows she needs to go to Forgotten Hollow, so we're gonna head over there and see who we meet. Okay, so we've just arrived and Vlad is actually outside, so let me just pause it. I think what we'll do is, um, let's go brighten his day and I think we should, um, I want to talk to him about vampires um so we can debate the existence of vampires see how he reacts oh i mean i think he liked that <laughs> got a 
Now she's sharing her vampire knowledge with him. He's obviously pretending to be shocked. Um, I found a lot of crazy info on vampires on the computer. The toe marks are just message as well. Hey babe, are you busy? I miss you and want to see you. Can you come over right now? Um, sorry, not right now. She's a little bit busy. Um, she just learned that Vlad is evil. So Tomax just rang and said, Hey Maeve, I think Kayla Fleming is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Yes, go for it. You should think about it yourself. I don't think it's a good idea. I think Maeve is kind of like, I think she would say, you should think about it yourself. Like, why are you telling me we're best friends, we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, you need to make your mind up kind of thing. We'll see what happens. <laughs> But that might be a short-lived relationship. Um, right. As she was heading over down, um, down to the park, so I think she's just slowly coming. So we're just playing chess um, with our new pal Mila Munch. Tomax is calling again. Um, I feel like trying something new and exciting. Something like changing careers. What do you think? I think you should try new. I think she'll say you should follow your heart. It's a big change. I'll have to think on it. I mean, he sounds like he's very unsure with his life at the minute. <laughs> okay, we're kind of getting nowhere, so we're gonna go knock on Vlad's door and see what happens. Oh, come on in. Oh, I don't want to speak to Beth today, and he's playing on. What's that called again? The organ, I think. Okay. Um, let's speak our thoughts to Vlad. And let's um. Debate the existence again. Oh. <laughs> And in the view, suggestive look. Maybe has noticed that Vlad, Vlad, Vladislaus's eyes are lingering on them more and more. There's an intensity to her stare, and with their attention fixed squarely upon them, this may be the chance to move things into a more intimate direction. Is Maeve going to accept his advances or ignore him? I mean, I think at this point she's pretty desperate to know more about vampires, so we're gonna. I think she'd accept his advances. Um. Obviously, in her mind, Tomax is like, oh, I really like this girl. So she doesn't really know what's going on with him anyway. And yeah, I think she she really wants to know and become a vampire. Uh -huh. um, Maeve has accepted Vlad's advances. He looks excited, anticipating the opportunity of experience and a passionate moment with Maeve. She can do whatever she wants with him for the next few hours. Oh my God. <laughs> um, and so... I don't, she wouldn't, I, I don't think she would, um, like, actually do anything with him, but I think she would flirt and be quite suggestive. She's gonna, uh, she's gonna ask if he's single, and then we're gonna compliment his appearance, and then compliment his outfit, and just kind of, just chat to him. Oops. Try and build up that relationship with him. Oh, she's got a festering grudge at the minute, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's promote our cause also while we're here. And then we could maybe do a pickup line again. I don't, she doesn't want to um, annoy him. She doesn't want to like annoy him, but equally she really wants to um, become a vampire, so... Oh. And he's gone. <laughs> okay, she is home and she's hungry, so we're gonna eat some of the leftovers and sort some of our needs out. And she is now um, level eight, I think. Yep, level eight of vampire lore. So oh. <laughs> she just learned there were some special ingredient ingredients that used in some vampire specific recipes. She can now purchase plasma fruit, wolfsbane, and mosquito trap seeds. And she's read there was a special drink which can allow vampires to walk in the daylight. 
which I think we already knew. Um, we should maybe let's invite Tomax over because I'll see what's going on with him. Let's um, ask about his um, brighten this day. He's a bit preoccupied on his phone. Stop Hopefully not texting that other woman. <laughs> oh, um, compliment oh. <laughs> his outfit. Can we ask oh. if he's single? I assume uh, we can't. Gorba, um, Torbo, Demaza, Boob, express and our fondness. Oh, this is good because she's getting her colours now as well. Um, Strick, I want her to... Let's debate the existence of vampires. I want to know what his um, discuss expanding the family as well and see what his. Oh, he's talking to someone else again. So let's go ask if he wants children. Because I feel like that's a big thing for her. She obviously she's family oriented. She would like to have children. I clearly want to talk about marriage. I don't think I want kids at the moment. Oh, I'm in a mood for have some party time. You in? So, <laughs> just after she asked him, literally, do you want to have kids? And then, classic, his mind has gone straight to that. And they haven't yet, but um, I think she's kind of like ready to take it to the next level. So I think she'd say, I was thinking the same thing. Come here. <laughs> so I think I'm just liking Tomax more and more. So they've just finished and straight away, did you hear that? It must be my phone going off. It has to be important, so we'll go answer it over there. And yes. he's left. Honestly, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe he's done that. Um, but it's 3 a.m. So I'm gonna get her to go to sleep. Okay, so her day is starting. I'm gonna get her to go to the toilet. I'm gonna get her to um, work from home and we'll promote the calls and write the letter. So I'll get her up. Um, I might get her to make some breakfast rather than having. We'll have um, eggs and toast for breakfast. She may as well make a big portion and we'll have that. Uh, fire has started nearby. Oh my god, has she just set? I think she's just set fire. Extinguish it. <laughs> We've discovered the fire. A fire has started nearby. Oh my god. At least she kind of looks in control. I mean, she looks very angry. Okay, she's putting that out. I mean, this has been a very eventful first episode. At least we got um, a little bit of 776 insurance payout. Okay, let's finish the eggs. <laughs> she's still, I mean, she's really struggling with them. It's just egg and toast. And we've reached cooking level two. Okay, she's just finished her letter and I need to go promote the cause. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll come down and try and find someone to to promote it to. Introduce ourselves to Bob Pancakes. Where's he gone? <laughs> Son of a rock. He's feeling focused. Right, let's brighten your day. Bob has listened to me with passionate remarks about the cause and is feeling inspired to take action. Congrats on successfully promoting the cause. Okay, oh, look who is turned up. <laughs> so she just walked away from him at the bench and now he's literally just texted her saying, I think Kayla Fleming and I were just not meant to be. Sorry to hear it. Oh, where's he gone? He's actually gone somewhere else. But he was there. <laughs> What happened to us? Are you too good for me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Literally. I don't know what is going on. He is so needy. I think... Like, I think she's probably having second thoughts about him. <laughs> Just wanted to hear from you, Maeve. Are you happy to hear from me? Wow. Okay, and she's... Oh, we need to go get some water, so I'm going to send her home. 
replicate to it. She, uh, Tomax is obviously calling again. <laughs> Quick question. Agatha Crumble Bottom and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Um, of course, building friendships is a must. That's how she sees it from the um, from her career perspective. And yes, we did well today. We we did all of her assignments, so we've got work in eleven hours. So I guess she'll go to sleep, and we'll catch up in the morning. And it is harvest fair, so I guess technically she probably has the day off work. Okay, uh, maybe cook a grand meal. She could cook a breakfast. She's still thinking about the fire. It's quite scared. Okay, Thomas. Oh, actually, I wanted to change. Let's um, change your outfit first. And then we can appreciate him. Um, although I don't know why, because actually, the way he's been going on <laughs> was not very nice, but we should be thankful. So, Tomax has been quite mean, actually, the insult. Um, they're having quite an offensive conversation. Um, she's got a bit of a grudge. And they're just kind of being a bit mean together. Okay, we're going to try and repair this a little bit by doing some jokes. Um, oh, see, look, he's been so... Oh no, he like, they liked that. He must have been saying something like, oh no. <laughs> Okay, so the, I think they're back on track. So attractiveness throughout the conversation may have got the impression that Tomax finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. And right. <laughs> yeah, I think she's just done that of her own accord. So in the classic, um, he's literally just left straight away. Um, I have to go feed my cow plant. I'll see you later. Okay, she's had a few hours sleep, and we're gonna, I mean, it's another night, but oh, I don't know if he'll come, because it's another the night. Probably sleeping, uh -huh. although he doesn't really sleep. Let's see. Oh, he'll be right over. Okay, I think he kind of likes the fun stuff, so... <laughs> we are going to... Um, <laughs> yeah, some more funny things, because I think he likes the... Uh, funny conversations. I don't the think North we're nerds. high enough yet to Inja, Inja, know that he's a vampire. Sabuna, oh, oh, we've got a bit of romance Aga, with him. Aga, <laughs> Thank you very much for laughing at my puns. <laughs> hey darling, want to watch a movie together? <laughs> we can order takeout if you want. Right, we're going. This is the day we're going to become a vampire. Oh my god, it says hanging out with lover. <laughs> oh no. Right, I'm gonna put in some graft here and we're gonna become friends with him. Okay, so we're charisma level four. Um, we've learned a little bit more about him. Um, I think we learned that he was a music lover. Yeah, music lover. Um, she thinks he's unattractive. But she knows he's a grandmaster vampire. So I think we should be... Surely we're nearly... <gasps> Ask to turn! Okay, go. Right, where's Vlad gone? Oh, where is he gone? have a quick have some cereal out of his fridge <laughs> so I don't know where he's gone right we're gonna we're gonna have to go home I don't know where he's gone and we'll invite him over invite a Vlad over don't know why she's uh, don't know why she's embarrassed of oh, wearing messy makeup okay we're gonna go go fix her makeup <gasps> Vlad is sleeping Okay, it is nine o'clock. Surely he is. We just have a little nap. <gasps> I want some company. I could give you some. Yes. Come over, please. He'll be right over. Oh, a lot of things happened. Before. Oh, and she's trying to invite him over again. <gasps> oh, interesting. Maeve is sneaky like a fox, and that's why I don't trust her. 
<laughs> what? Okay, we're gonna post about travel. Please work this time. Ask to turn. Third time lucky. In Manzo. Will you turn me, please? Oh, she's sweating. Oh, oh, it's worked. Look. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> I didn't know that was this vampire form. And there's the creepy head still moving. <laughs> she is actually sweating. I think she's like, oh my god, didn't know you were going to look like that. <laughs> okay, it's happening. Okay, it's going to happen. Okay. Oh. She's like, oh, that's not too bad. Okay, now she's going to take some of his blood. I'll move around over here. Oh. Start of the process. Okay. And now he, oh, now he's turned back into his thing. She... I don't know where it'll be. <laughs> One of these somewhere. Hydrated? Feeling focused. Strangely hungry. Okay. Appetite increasing, but not really for food. Becomes disgusted by food in. Um. I, I don't like it. She didn't like how that conversation went. Interesting. <laughs> okay, well, I guess she may as well have a last meal. Okay, and I want to get rid of the romance thing. So, um, friendly. Let's just... Um, ask to just be friends and let's see how he takes it <laughs> he seems to take that okay I think oh no no he didn't take that okay and I think he's just left and I think with that we're gonna leave this episode in here obviously I think I was it was quite an interesting episode quite eventful we've had a lot of things we've finished on a high she should be coming a bit vampire tomorrow I think I don't know how long it actually takes in the game um we've had a fire our relationship with Tomax has been very up and down um nearly had Vlad as an accidental lover not thankfully that's been resolved um but yeah, so I think all's going well. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a slightly longer one, but I did want to become a vampire in the first episode. So that's why it's a bit longer. The next episode should be a little bit shorter. If you've enjoyed it, please give the video a like. And let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen next. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.